Civilization opened our eyes to the wonders humanity has created. It also stole from us some of the most delicate experiences, such as the first time going to the stream, setting up a firewood forward fireplace with our grandmothers, and the sweet stories they told of their lives and generation past around the fires by night. Luckily, in the small village of Atravenu, Concealed in the heavy blanket of forestry and nature, life is as simple as waking up, sweeping, going to the stream and going about life happily. The villages are most weavers. In today's experience, we explore how they dye the straws and reeds to beautify their craft, which is mainly traditional mat weaving. Vamijo, Namafia Anana. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here live at Atravenu, a small village of people who have created, that's the best way I can put it. Today we are going to be learning about how they dye these weeds. You can see here. Oh, that's a lot. How we can dye this to give us a pop of color in order to be able to use it to weave mats. So if you're interested in this, I mean, why wouldn't you be interested? Join us as we have fun and learn how to do this. Some people go to the river to cut the reeds, others buy from the market. It is then dried for seven days to become brown and then the ends are cut off and the base is also removed for the excess reeds that are unneeded. It is then bound together by one of the reeds and then folded onto each other until you get some sort of a bundled piece of meat. It is now time to collect it and go over to the house where we will set a fireplace to start the dying. Setting up the fireplace seems to be an art mastered over the years. There's a log of firewood put into the fireplace, then tiny specks of wood are put over it, and some fire is drawn from the coal pot with some charcoal and put over the f fire sticks and some palm nut chaff is placed over the burning charcoal and it is then fanned and if not properly lit a match is lit to relight the fire all over again now water is poured into the pot and put over the fireplace as it's lighted and we wait until the water is boiling hot then we add some sea salt to it I asked why the other sea salt and they said it was to make the dye come off more brighter. This is what the dye looks like. It's just a powder put in some graphic paper. Now that the water is boiling hot, the dye is released into the boiling hot water contents of the pot and the reed or the straws that are bound together are used to stir up the dye now i realize that as the straws are being used to stir the dye the straws are getting dyed as the pot is being stirred now these women were so brave to be putting their hands into the pot of boiling hot water and not fear them getting bent i tried to do it it was quite difficult at first as the vapor in the pot kept burning my hands. Um, I tried to do it, they encouraged me and I actually learned. At this point, it's imperative to 
push in the straws into the dye so as to get it to dye properly from the inside out this particular reed in question was not properly dried hence it was difficult for it to absorb the dye now we are adding a little bit of green colored dye onto the red one to get a different color now this is done in measured proportions and then the bundled reed or straw is used to stir up the pot and the stick is used to to push it down in order to get it to absorb and to be properly dyed from the inside out After the blue-black dyes were derived, I was told to carry the pot off the fireplace and throw away the contents. Now I was given a rug to use to prevent mink from getting hurt or bent and I was thrown to pour the, away the water onto the section of the house. The pot is then put back onto the fire and a fresh water is put on to boil. Salt is added and the process is repeated. <laughs> the smoke is so much if you don't take care you might have issues i don't know how these people do it every day but i don't know inhaling this much smoke from the firewood i mean it gets the job done really quickly and quickly. the only thing is i am concerned about their health because my eyes hurt so badly but this is an experience I've never done this before and I especially love it. So I'm going to make it up here. I'm going Mm. So guys, they say I have to run my fingers along it like this to straighten it. In case you have to make me jump. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So they say they stra they straighten it so that it will make it straighter so it doesn't um, bend and curve when they need to use it to leave the mat. So you just hold the top side and apply pressure all the way to the bottom to make it straight. Now here is the catch. It's going to stay in your hands, but they say when you wash it, it will go away. So I'm just believing them. If you dry it in the sun, um, it needs to dry well so that the dye can stick. This is how you dry it so the color can stick. My fingers. Proof of my hard work. The reeds are finally dried, so it starts to collect them and dry. See how it looks when it's dry. The color is popping now. Me 
बना दे then we used the first one which was the pinkish red and this is how this one turned out then they added some of the green to the red and we had some blue black kind of shade and then later we did the green so that's how you can even use two colors to get one color mm -hmm. so guys we need to put in a cool dry place yeah. <laughs> guys you guys, I wonder how our mothers do it. I wonder how they do it. It's not easy. This is the colored one as compared against the regular one. So this is what we dyed in order to get this. This has been one age of a day. It's been both fun, exciting, exhilarating. I, I, I don't even know the adjectives to use. But we have learned how to use the local dye to dye the weeds to be able to use them for the mat. I think my favorite part is the teamwork, the community work that everybody pitches in to help one another in order to make it um, fun. And I haven't used firewood in a while, so... I mean, it's very good that I got to relearn how to use this and the smoke doll. The smoke doll. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please share to your friends and family. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. And if you enjoyed this video like I did, let us know which, your which part your favorite was. Oh my god, the smoke. I gotta live here. I don't know how these people do it, but they are superhuman and they are superheroes. Until next time, see you. Bye.